What's up, y'all? What's goody, 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 what's all that shit, you feel me? Acting brand new because my little ponytail, but all that shit, you feel me? <laughs> now, so today's video is going to be about why do black men prefer light skinned women? Why you like the, the red bones, the yellow bones? The, why, you, why you fucking with that, man? You fucking with the chocolate, you know what I'm saying? Why you ain't fucking with the chocolate? So, I just wanted to make a video about this because, um, and more specifically on black men, because I could have did it on colorism in general, you know what I'm saying, and dead women too, but I want to focus my attention on black men because, um, one, the Chris Brown thing, is, this Chris Brown uh, situation is just popped up where she, he said something in this uh, in this uh, new album, which is kind of nice though, I can't even fake, I, I listened to a couple songs, it's kind of nice, but that's not the point, the point is, one of his lyrics, he was like, only like black bitches with good hair, you know what I'm saying? And so we all kind of knew subconsciously what the fuck he meant when he said that because it's like, look at who the Karushi, fucking Rihanna, his baby mother, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the bitches he didn't date it, it's just obvious who he's been seen with. You know what I'm saying? It's just obvious. The bitches in his videos, whatever the case may be, like, it's it's just obvious who you meant. You meant that the light-skinned bitches, you know what I'm saying, with the, with the 3B, the 3A hair, you know what I'm saying? Like, those bitches you like to fuck with. I've been kind of paying attention or you know what I'm saying for, for a little while about why do black men the black men in my life at least prefer a light skinned woman because I know a few let me let me see so five 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 particular black men oh and six 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 particular black men in my life who you know, preferred lighter skinned women. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've, and one of them, actually, I can say that my father. You know what I'm saying? He, I haven't, I've never talked to him about. I actually should. You know, I should have asked him for this damn video. If I do, I'll say something about it on my live or some shit like that. If I talk to him about it. But yeah, except for my father, that's the only person that I haven't uh, talked to about, and I've never even addressed him about it about us preferring light skinned women because he's never really said it. Like he's never really came out and said, "Oh, I just love light skinned women." He, he claims that he love all black women and da da da. Like how most of these niggas say outside of the six, but most black men say, but they end up going to the fucking letter say, "I only fuck black bitch with good hair." So we know what the fuck they mean. You know what I'm saying? And I say that for my father because he, you know, say so after my mother is not the, she's not. I wouldn't consider her light skinned but she's not dark. She's like brown. She's a, probably a little. She probably like my complexion. You know what I'm saying? And I don't consider myself light-skinned, but she's like my complexion. His girlfriend now is light-skinned. Like, I'm talking about Lauren Lon London type light-skinned. And his girlfriend before that was like Lauren London type light-skinned. Like, he likes light-skinned women. It's very fucking obvious. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, but I just wanted to kind of dig into their psyches to see, you know what I'm saying? What, what is it? Like, why do you think you prefer light-skinned women? Because to me, and I think... You know what I'm saying? For the most part, everybody kind of understands the general, you know what I'm saying, reasons behind colorism. I mean, this is 2019. We got Google. We got Twitter. It's like, we got black Twitter. We got motherfucking a lot of shit for you to be, you know, it's no reason for you not to know why, you know what I'm saying, about colorism or what the, uh, or why people have colorism issues. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so of course my, uh, my understanding of that is just because they have self-hate issues, they have bad relationships with their mother, you know what I'm saying, uh, of course media programming, 300 plus years of just fucking self-hate programming, you know what I'm saying, not to love black women, the association of, of masculinity with black women, with darker skinned women, should I say, you know what I'm saying, just, you know what I'm saying, the hatred of, of 4C hair, whatever the case may be, and not to say that, for, that dark skinned women can't have 3A or 3B hair, because there are women like that, you know what I'm saying, but just that look, the dark skinned woman with a force with a kinkier hair shape, you know what I'm saying? Like the 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 image of that being of of that being ugly, you know what I'm saying? Of that being pushed as ugly on on black people for so fucking long. The you know what I'm saying? Just it, it's it's a lot that goes into that. You kind of just wanted to dig into their psyche to see, you know what I'm saying? Why they why do they think they're they're attracted to to lighter skinned women? You know what I'm saying? Oh, actually, not only my father was another one too that I haven't asked about too. So I've only really asked four. But nigga, that's enough. Anyways, so <laughs> um yeah, I just kind of want to debunk some of their reasons why. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, surprisingly, and it's crazy because these niggas look like, yo, y'all niggas, I thought y'all was a little more woke than this. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. I guess the fuck not. You know what I'm saying? But 
uh, uh, a lot of the reasons they said are some some of or the exact same reasons I've heard from rappers say I've heard you know what I'm saying people saying like movies would have case maybe I've heard people say online I've heard people vlog and say I've heard people doing like the little light skin dark skin interviews I've just heard a lot of um niggas say that shit before you know what I'm saying say these reasons before and so I just want to go into them and kind of debunk them a little bit because all y'all niggas ain't got the same excuse. All y'all niggas ain't got the same reasons. These are just whack ass excuses you're using to cover up the real problem you have with dark skinned women. But we're gonna get into it. First one um, is probably gonna be um, opposites attract. Now, I can kind of understand this a, a little bit because it's like, you know what I'm saying? You're yin to your yang. You know what I'm saying? The balance. Like, I, I can get that. But usually when I think of. Uh, opposite attracting, I think of personality-wise. I'm the calm one, you're the excited one. I'm the aggressive one, you're the passive one. You know what I'm saying? I'm the, the emotional one, you're the logical one. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can, I can get that. When it comes to physical, though, it's not... You know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't really click all the way for me because usually you attract either what you look like or what you were around as when, when you were a kid like what you looked up to as your kid you know what i'm saying which is usually your mother or your father or close sibling you know what i'm saying family member whatever case they be that's usually what you're attracted to you know what i'm saying um prime example me most of the dudes i dated or talked to dark skinned men tall funny you know what i'm saying uh kind of assholes whatever case be just like my fucking daddy you know what i'm saying like because that's what I'm attracted to. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's your, your daddy is like your first boyfriend, just like your mother is. Your mother is kind of like your first girlfriend. So, that's how I see other people. You know what I'm saying? When they, what you call them? I'm not going to get me wrong. Sometimes you do see, like, you know what I'm saying? You might see a skinny person with a fat person. You know what I'm saying? You might see a, 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 a ugly person, quote unquote, with a, with a cute person type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, in that type of way of opposite of trying. But most of the times, you will see an ugly motherfucker with an ugly motherfucker. You will see a fine ass motherfucker with a fine ass motherfucker. You will see. Uh, uh, a fat motherfucker with a fat motherfucker. Like, that's just, you know what I'm saying? You will, you just, you will see a tall motherfucker with a tall motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, most of the time, that's just how the fucking go. You know what I'm saying? From what I've seen, at least, personally, in my life, that's usually how the fucking go. There has been other cases where it's like, oh, damn, like, that's a weird match, but hey, do y'all. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, most of the time, you're attracting somebody who's similar to you. You know what I'm saying? Looks, personality, all that shit. You're, you're attracting somebody who's kind of similar to you. You know what I'm saying? And so, I don't think that's a really legitimate thing to say, oh, okay, well, I'm just attracted to the light because she's dark. You know what I'm saying? I'm a dark, because even when it's the opposite way around, when you have light-skinned men, it's not that way. And I'm not saying that doesn't happen, light-skinned men with dark skin, because you have celebrity couples like that. You know what I'm saying? And I know people who, who are like that. But at the same time, you if you listen to, you know what I'm saying, media, you listen to friends, whatever the case may be, these same light-skinned men don't date dark skinned women. Chris Brown, you know what I'm saying? They'll say they love black women, but they don't date dark skinned women. They'll date, you know what I'm saying, someone who's maybe my complexion and lighter. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not going brown, chocolate, dark chocolate. Like, they're not going down further than that. They're not going further down the scale. You know what I'm saying? As far as shade goes, they're not doing it. You know what I'm saying? Well, should I say further up the scale? Fuck that. Y'all are further up the motherfucking scale because, nigga, everything came from from, from, from black. Fuck you talking about. Everything came from dark and then got lighter and then go up so it round. So let me say that. Let me switch that around for my dark skinned sisters. Yeah, they, they, they ain't going to the top of the, of, the, of the tone shade. You know what I'm saying? Let me not get y'all fucked up. But yeah, so. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But even with like lighter skinned men, they still don't. You know what I'm saying? So it's not. It's a really a bullshit ass excuse. Like, oh yeah, well, it's opposite track. Da, da, da. Like, that's. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just not the fucking truth. It's just not. You know what I'm saying? It's just not. It does not. It does not happen nowhere near on a, on a scale, especially with, like, even lighter-skinned women. It does not happen. Light-skinned men being with a dark-skinned woman doesn't even happen as much as a light-skinned woman being with a dark-skinned man. It just, it does not fucking happen as often because it's not because opposites attract. It's because, bitch, you got self-hatred. That's what the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? You just don't like the fact that you're And You know what's crazy? Because a lot of these men who say that, will have dark-skinned mothers, dark-skinned sisters, dark-skinned cousins, dark-skinned aunts, dark-skinned grandmothers, you know what I'm saying? Dark-skinned women in their family, and they say, oh, well, I'm just, it's just opposites attract, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of them are not dealing with the subconscious things they have going on with them with these relationships in their family, because I know one in particular who doesn't have a good relationship with none of his sisters, doesn't have no, a good relationship with his mother, you know what I'm saying? Doesn't have the best relationship with his grandmother, 
You know what I'm saying? And all of these women are brown or dark skinned. And then he says, oh, well, I just like light skinned women because it's just a preference. Or is it that you just had traumatic experiences with dark skinned women? So now subconsciously, you believe dark skinned women are just bad women. So now you're saying, oh, I'm going to go with light skinned women because they're not. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of men don't think about that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, how don't you like dark-skinned women and your, your mother's dark-skinned? You know what I'm saying? Like, and you, even even men who are close to the mother, is like, damn, how the fuck you don't like light-skinned women and your mother is dark-skinned? That, that, that don't even make no fucking sense. Like, you you looking at, you looking at a reflection of your damn mother. You would tell me you don't like, you don't find that attractive at all? It's a problem with that. Like, that's a problem. Not to fuck up preferences because to have a preference, like, I prefer dark-skinned men one of the reasons being my father is a dark-skinned man you know what i'm saying even my stepfather after him was a dark-skinned man so that's one of the subconscious reasons why i like dark-skinned men but it's not like i'm about to say nah i just don't like i just don't fuck with light-skinned niggas i, I don't like light-skinned niggas fuck light-skinned you know what i'm saying light-skinned niggas nah they ain't attractive they just not attractive you know what i'm saying like that's not what i'm gonna do it's like it's not oh it's just opposite to try because i i don't really consider myself light-skinned or necessarily dark skin. I'm like somewhere in the middle. You know what I'm saying? I've been called light skin before. I've just never really claimed that. I don't. I don't. I don't consider myself light skin. When I think of light skin, I'm thinking like Lauren London, like yellow bone ass, mixed looking, quote unquote, looking ass bitches. That's not what I. You know, that's just not what the fuck I look like to be. Kind of, that's not what I think I look like at least. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, but that's what I've been attracted to is dark skin. Man. But I would never just mark off light skinned niggas like you know what i'm saying like i would never just mark off light skin like i just wouldn't do it you know what i'm saying light skin niggas still be fine as hell chris brown still fine as hell even though he's fucking ignorant as hell like but these light skin niggas are still fine you know what i'm saying michael ely fine as hell even though i think he's married to a white woman but anyways like yeah you know what i'm saying like it's, it's a lot of light skin niggas is fine as hell that i would give a chance you know what i'm saying but I just, I do, I like dark skin niggas, you know what I'm saying? I just think they fine as fuck. Like, dark skin, just dark skin niggas are just fine as hell to me, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But it's a, that's, that's a preference. That's not just, that's not me discriminating, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these men get mixed up being um, preferences between discrimination, you know what I'm saying? And that's another point I was about to say. It's just, oh, well, I prefer light skin. Well, I just, I just prefer light skinned women, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's no reason behind it. I just prefer because to me, even if you can't break down the reason behind you like your your liking of light skinned because none of the men that I've asked, when I asked them, like, why do you like light skinned women? Even though they have dark skinned women, uh, dark skinned moms or dark skinned women in their life, because all of the men I'm talking about have dark skinned women in their life, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, uh, yeah, why don't you like. Why don't you like dark skin? Why, I mean, well, why do you like light skin women? If you don't, if you're just saying you prefer, it's nothing wrong with dark skin women, but you prefer light skin women. Why do you like light skin women? Oh, uh, I don't know. I mean, shit. They just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I just like light skin women. You know what I'm saying? Like dark skin women is just, I don't know. I can't explain it. Like it's, I can't put it in the words. It's just, I just can't explain dark. You know what I'm saying? I just, I don't really be fucking with dark skins like that. You know what I'm saying? Like when I get that bullshit ass answer, which I've gotten multiple times, it's like nigga, it's not just because you don't like light skin. Like you're lying to yourself. You're in denial. You know what I'm saying? It's like you, if you don't have no concrete reason, you can't even think of one fucking good reason other than they look good. It's not this. It's not just that. You know what I'm saying? It's way deeper than that. But you're just not dealing with it. It's obvious that you don't. That you have either self hatred or just because a lot of these men who I'm talking about are actually dark skin as well. You know what I'm saying? So that's either self hatred towards your skin or a hatred you have that's uh, that's something negative attached to dark skin women that you haven't really figured out subconsciously. Like you have something negative. In your head linked with dark skinned women, you know what I'm saying? Attached with the with dark skinned women, and whether that's like I said, on just a social level, where you've just been socially programmed to be like that, whether you've been influenced by close family members to tell you that, whatever the case may be, there's a reason behind you just liking light skinned women, and you have to fucking confront that because shit, these niggas about to have kids, and some of these niggas about to have kids, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, with some of these niggas that already have kids, it's just like, yo, you could have a dark skinned daughter, you could have a a light skinned daughter, you could, like, what do you want to teach her? You know what I'm saying? What do you what do you want to teach her when she asks you, hey, daddy, why don't you like girls that look like me? You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta figure that shit out now, my nigga. Or even if you're not, even in the future, when you if you do want to get there, like my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta be able to elaborate that to your daughter because she's gonna deal with the niggas who are like you, who think like you, who's just gonna say, oh, now nah, I'm gonna I'm good on you because I like light skinned girls, and she was saying like, why 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 don't nobody like me? 
daddy or why he don't like me, daddy, because he, you know what I'm saying? You got to be able to explain that shit to your fucking daughter. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas, man. Deal with your shit, okay? Another big thing is that black women, I'm sorry, not black women, but dark skin women and, and more, uh, I know, I Another thing is dark skinned women are usually fetishized. A lot of dark skinned women are usually just over sexualized because it's like, you know, and it's crazy because this is actually a point. This is actually one of the things that one of them said is that, oh, okay, well, you know, it's crazy because if I think with this head, um, you know what I'm saying, like, I, I'm, I'm good. You know what I'm saying, like, I pass. What I'm fucking with, if I'm thinking with that head, then you know what I'm saying? It's whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, she might be able to get it type shit. But it's like, what? So you telling me conscious, if you're sober, you know what I'm saying? If you're consciously thinking, do I want to date this one? Do I want to talk to this one? Whatever the case may be. Is she pretty? It's a no. Off rip. You walking right past her. You ain't even looking. You are not even fucking looking at her ass. But if you horny or you just trying to, you know what I'm saying? You just trying to lay some pipe, my nigga. Oh, you you checking her out? Do you check it for? You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's very objective and very offensive towards dark skinned women. You know what I'm saying? Because of course we all know that throughout history, or at least throughout American history, let me say that dark skinned women has been fetishized. Of course, if you look back at you know what I'm saying, slave masters with you know what I'm saying with the slaves, all this other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like black women in general has always been kind of fetishized, but dark skinned women in particular has always been like over sexualized and that's crazy because even and like i've noticed it's a trend of like people trying to you know what i'm saying glorify dark skinned women and which is a good thing but i've also seen on the other side of that a lot of like people just posting dark skinned women but they'll be half dressed they have a bikini on they have no clothes on you know what i'm saying being a a real uh a real uh sexualized uh photo shoot or some shit like that and be like oh my gosh melanin oh my gosh i just love dark skin women that black black girl magic da -da -da -da. you know what i'm saying but it's like would you be saying that to the girl you know what i'm saying fully dressed like fully dressed you know what i'm saying with, with her fro out you know what i'm saying because a lot of these dark skin women is also not only getting over sexualized they're, you know what I'm saying, they have the weaves in, or they're heavy straight, or they look a little, you know, foreign or exotic, quote unquote, and they won't have the, you know what I'm saying, the the normal, I mean, not the normal, I mean, I'd say the normal, but the, the afro type look, you know what I'm saying, the kinkier hair look, and they'll be glorified and over-sexualized, and it's like, okay, well, what about shorty over here with the, you know what I'm saying, fully dressed, with the fro out, you know what I'm saying, we not, we ain't talking about black girl magic for her, we not talking about melanin for her you know what i'm saying because it's, it's just a sexualizing thing like they're good to fuck but they ain't good to wife up they ain't good to date you know what i'm saying like what the, and that's bullshit even if you look at some of these celebrities some of these shit uh some of these celebrities some of these men online whatever the case may be like they'll have dark-skinned women but then have white wives so dark-skinned baby mothers i'm sorry but then have white wives then have light-skinned wives and no problem with impregnating all of these dark-skinned women you know what i'm saying that shit is disrespectful as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like at the, at the end of the day, these are still black women. They're just as much as black women as these so-called light-skinned, you know what I'm saying? More ambiguous looking ass fucking black women. Like they're still, there shouldn't be no, oh well, I'ma just fuck her and I'ma wife her because you know what I'm saying? A lot of these light-skinned bitches do the same or worse shit than these dark-skinned women do and end up fucking these niggas over. And then you be wishing that had you married your fucking baby lover and want to be holding you down and shit. But you want to go marry the light skin bitch because she's pretty and she looks, and you just prefer her and all this other shit. Like, no. Another one is that dark skin women have to bring more to the table. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to bring this up because this girl named Sydney Black, like a few weeks ago, I think she had made a video about. Uh, it might have been like over a little month or some shit like that. But a, a little while ago, she made a video about how colorism is an illusion. Now, mind you, she's a dark-skinned woman with blue eyes and like like 3A hair or some shit like that. Oh, maybe like 3C hair, you know what I'm saying? And um, she was basically saying that colorism is an illusion, you know, blah, blah, blah. I didn't even watch the video, but I seen reviews of it. Basically, the gist of it was like, um, can't nobody hold you back type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a fucking illusion. You know what I'm saying? Like, you are what you say you are, whatever, blah, 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 all this other bullshit. So, but I wanted to touch on that because it's like, your experience, her experience is not the same experience. She's not going to have the same experience as a woman, as a dark-skinned woman 
who with uh, with uh, kinky hair and with brown eyes. She's not gonna have the same experience because black, I mean, dark skinned women who dark skinned women who have different features about them are automatically fetishized as well. You know what I'm saying? Because they're automatically like. What are you mixed with? Like, how are you doing? Even though they're not saying it, it's really like, how are you that dark and you have that 3B hair? Or you have that 3C hair? How are you that dark and you have those blue eyes? Because it's so, it's so uh, unpopular. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of taboo for most people to see someone who's not of lighter skin with 3B hair or with blue eyes or with hazel eyes and all shit like that. So these dark skinned women with things like that, with the blue eyes and the, and the, looser, and the looser textured hair, or, um, you know what I'm saying, like uh, high cheekbones, whatever, you know what I'm saying, like just certain features, freckles, whatever the case may be, you're going to be fetishized more. It's going to be like, oh, like you're not, you're, you're different. People kind of um, all over her because she looks different. She doesn't look like your average, quote unquote, dark skinned girl. You know what I'm saying? So she, her experience is just going to be different automatically than any other dark skinned girl with just, with a, with a, uh, with a key gear textured hair. And, br and fucking regular ass brown ass, you know what I'm saying? So for her to, of course for her to, of course she's going to say some shit like colorism is an illusion because it's like, bitch, you haven't had the same experiences as, as someone else, you know what I'm saying? With your color and without those features, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, besides that though, I've heard, you know what I'm saying? People say the dark skin women have to bring more to the table and not only just that, not only just in a physical sense, you know what I'm saying? Like blue eyes or the texture of hair, whatever the case may be, but also in just like a... You know, whether that's money, whether that's education, whether that's resources, whatever the case may be, like, they just, you gotta bring more to, you gotta have a little more going on within a light-skinned woman because you, you know, I don't really find you as more attractive, so you gotta give me something else to attract me to you, to give me a reason to want to fuck with you, because, yeah, other than that, I really, I really wouldn't have a reason to do it, to be honest, so you gotta kind of outdo yourself a little more than a little light-skinned joint, because, you ain't really got it like she got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's just, oh my God, that's just fucked up on another level. Like, my nigga, are you serious? You really gonna sit up here and tell me and the same nigga or niggas that told me that, it's like, you still gonna sit up here and tell me you just date light-skinned women for a preference, but you just told me that a dark-skinned woman will have to bring more to the table. Baby, it's more than just a preference. That is more, that is discrimination at this point. You know, that is more than a fucking preference. And you have to dig into your I get to figure out why. Because that is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? A black I man, a dark skinned woman, no type of woman should have to bring more to her table because more to the table because of the color of their fucking skin. Like, that's just bullshit. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? You should have to bring more to the table because of who you are. You know what I'm saying? And that's for all women. Maybe you want to have a, a woman to bring more to the table because you're a millionaire or you got a lot going on, whatever the case may be. And so your woman has to be. In a mindset of a even if she's not a millionaire, she has to be in a mindset of, of, of trying to become a millionaire. She has to be an entrepreneur. She has to be this. She has to be, you know what I'm saying? In a sense like that. I can understand that. But to say that she has to bring more to the table because she's a dark skinned woman? What? Like, that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, that is self hate at its fucking finest. That is hate for black, for blackness at its fucking finest. That is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's fucking, that's just not right. All right, leave your thoughts below. Let me know. Do you think black men hate dark skinned women? Do you think a lot of you black men really are dealing with colorism issues and they're trying to cover it up with a, it's just a preference, bitch ass fucking excuse. Y'all let me know what y'all think of this channel in my comments. Other than that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications bell, give this bitch a thumbs up. All that shit, all that shit, all that shit. Other than that, that's all I get. She know about the hoes, yeah. but she still don't never fold. No, no. Make a new way every new day, cause we gotta make it better. Uh, Mind change like the weather. Uh, Keep my heart warm like a sweater. Oh, and you know what we been through. And you know what we can do. Girl, you know that you is the truth.